today's Saturday's ride is about testing Erlin's rear shock suspension. It's my third time now when I have this Erlin's uh, rear shock on my bike. The first first time was on the spring, in the beginning of uh, May, and that was only like one day because it was leaking oil already. Uh, there was one O-ring from this uh, reservoir tank that has like a adjustment uh, and there was one O-ring leaking uh, from, from the adjustment knob and then uh, then I had again in June and July I had early exactly when I was uh, first in Himos and then after Himos I went uh, to Lapland and to Norway to ride this uh, uh, old post road in Alta I had early then but when I was uh, returning kind of riding south from, from Norway I noticed in Romania that my rear shock was totally torn so I had to ride only paved road from Rovaniemi to Helsinki. And uh, after this I start to look a uh, little bit thicker spring for my early because I think because the original spring is not very strong. It was something well, something about was it 90 or 110. I think it was 90 newton meters spring and I started to look for 130 spring. First they said in early that they don't have this kind of spring. But uh, but then actually it was the director of early who who answered me that we can have you spring that is 130 newton meters but it's 1 centimeter shorter than the original and I was thinking because there is possibility to adjust uh, uh, the length of the spring kind of in this uh, in this shock I was thinking that it is one centimeter definitely doesn't matter so I said let's take that and they even gave me some discount nice discount because uh, because I had so much problems with this so I got, after waiting like one month, I got this one, 130 newton meter spring from Erlin. And then I sent it right away to, to TTM factory in, in Forza, which is probably the best uh, shock service in Finland, at least for the motorcycles. My early was already there and I sent this uh, spring straight straight to Forza to this company. And now about one week ago or two weeks ago I got my shock back from this TTM factory. So now I finally put it to my bike and now I'm testing. And I can tell you already from the beginning that it's definitely better than the original this pressure air damper that this bike has it's like softer from the from the surface and then it's a, it's kind of um, progressively it's getting harder and harder That feels very nice when you ride with a bike because the bike doesn't feel hard on the surface.
just the suspension is very very good. The bike feels like it's it's answering exactly as I want it to answer and as I want it to behave in the different situations. Narrow single train. Train. I mean train. Yeah, it was quite nice. Now we're back on this. Bigger trail that goes to the sand pit. And for some reason, I think I haven't been riding this sand pit this summer or this year. Maybe once in the spring, but but not after after that. I've been always going there on the left. There and here is the sand pit, and here is quite many motorcycle tracks Whew. Uphill. Nice. much more comfortable to ride for example in this kind of trail that has lots of small bumps and and uh, tree roots and everything Then anyway, when you're riding these kind of off-road trails, it doesn't go deep, so it doesn't make any like uh, unnecessary movements. It doesn't feel like it's bouncing under you, and it doesn't feel like uh, it, it makes anything, every, anything like uh, extra, anything, anything too much. It feels, feels exactly kind of how it should feel. It doesn't hit to your hands, it's soft from the surface, but then, then it's kind of very progressive. And this I like very much. 